Uh, first of all, I know it's already too late and it's uh, not like allowed, but happy new year for everybody. Uh, I hope you can also feel that the energy became a little bit lighter or, uh, well, I can feel that the energy is a little bit lighter. Um, for me, it has been very heavy and dense energy in the last three months of uh, 2021. And well, at the moment for me, it feels better. And uh, yeah, I hope you have, uh, yeah, you also took a little bit time off for yourself or you are planning to in this winter season because yeah, the winter season is also really there to hibernate a little bit and uh, yeah, find a little bit of rest and allow yourself to rest and relax a little bit. Uh, well, I allowed myself also Hi, I see people are hopping on. Nice to be here with you. Yeah, and uh, so I uh, planned for myself to have to two weeks off. So uh, my first week, we were not, uh, we were in a small house, a little bit on vacation and away and walking a lot, being in nature in lo a lot. And uh, yeah, then my creativity started to really move through me. And uh, the second week, week I created my very first podcast so I have been working and um, yeah that's for me totally fine and okay and I love it when the energy starts to flow this way uh, I get a little bit hyper focused so uh, it's a challenge for my husband sometimes because I don't want to cook I don't want to do groceries I don't want to go anywhere I just want to be in this project so it's also a challenge for the people around me and also a little bit of course for myself because it's also yeah when you are when i'm really into this hyper focus i don't want to listen to my body uh thus i just want to move through and uh yeah create something new and of course there are some moving parts in creating a podcast uh, uh and also a little of inner a little bit of inner work because it's also scary to do a new project like that. And uh, of course, I don't know where it's going. Uh, for now, I, lo I love it. Uh, tomorrow, I will have a beautiful interview, I hope, with one of our favorite teachers, Wayne Hackett. And that will be the third podcast. So I'm really very uh, excited that he said yes and that we are going to start with this. So yeah, today I wanted to talk um, about um, sadness because I can see it in my practice that there is some sadness around. People are feeling sad. Some people are really even depressed. You can also uh, read this in the papers or hear this on the news. I try not to do too much of that. But uh, yeah, I can see it in my practice too. And I'm also in a couple of groups and yeah people are even like crying and feeling fe really sad sad for themselves sometimes sad for their children so yeah i thought what can we do to help ourselves to get through the sadness and uh, yeah sometimes you're picking up also the, like the sa sadness of society or the sa sadness of the environment around you so I thought let's move through that sadness a little bit and help ourselves to go through that. Um, for me it feels a lot better now but I know the, those feelings of sadness uh, very well. I have been really feeling that in the last uh, two years since March 2020. There were a lot of moments of joy but there was also moments of sadness because everything that was happening. So I wanted to address a simple way to help ourselves to go from that sadness feeling, maybe even grief feeling, maybe some people even have lost people, which makes the grieving, of course, even deeper uh, and see how we can move through that when it's happening. So you can do it uh, the moment you feel this sadness, but you can also do it every day and uh, yeah, just support yourself with this. Um, it's the finger that's related to sadness is our ring finger. So when you really want to, f to keep it very easy and simple for yourself, simply use holding your ring finger. This is not only helping 
to move through sadness, but it's also helping you to um, help your lungs and help your digestive system, which both of them are, of course, also really important for our immunity. So that's the easy and simple way to go. And you can also do a sequence. And it's a sequence of holding the thumb, the index finger, the middle finger, and the ring finger. So four fingers to harmonize that feeling of sadness and grief. Um, why those four fingers? Well, there is a very profound philosophy behind this, of course. It is a very simple exercise, but here it's uh, for those who know Jin Shinjutsu, of course, there is that lumbar circle uh, connection here where when we use all those four fingers that will help the energy to move faster and uh, the different kinds of energies are going to support each other. So yeah, let's be with that today and help ourselves to go from that sadness to that joy so that we are not getting, uh, how do you say, uh, we get, get not stuck in this sadness and also that we can be a spark of joy for ourselves but also for our families and yeah our neighborhood maybe and the energy around us because you know you are also that little stone in a pond so your energy is affecting the energy of all so very important to stay in that joy and as said i'm really also into imagining the future and the things that we want and what's important to us in the future. So let's start and go into this exercise. You can choose which hand you want to go with. Just not choose with your head, choose with your body. Let's see which thumb wants to be hold first. And go with that side for uh, this exercise and then maybe tonight uh, or I don't know, maybe uh, in your time zone, it's morning, uh, you can do the other side too. But for now, we are going to be with each finger for three minutes. You will see time flies when you are doing this and it will help you to get through that feeling of sadness and will harmonize that feeling. So it's not to like deny maybe that you're sad or grieving, but help you to move through it and not get stuck in it. So yeah, you can lie down or sit down. You can close your eyes. And maybe you are not able to close your eyes right now. Maybe you are walking or doing something else. You can also hold a thumb like this and then go through the fingers like this. So yeah. Hold your thumb, we start with the thumb, helping us to earth, to ground our energy. And bring your attention inward. Oops. Sorry, I'm moving my computer a little bit because it's starting to make noise. And just settle in. Bring your attention inward. Drop your shoulders. And observe how your breath Goes down the front, exhaling, letting go. And receiving a new breath up the back. Just allowing yourself a few minutes just 12 minutes to harmonize your energy
to help yourself to move through maybe feelings of sadness, allowing them there, allowing them to be there, but also allowing them to go. And with every exhale, we create space to receive something new. A new breath up the back. Maybe you can already feel that your body starts to relax. Allow it to relax even more. The more relaxed your body is, the easier the energy moves through it, through the body. Then go to the index finger, simply wrap your fingers around it, like this, simple, easy. Holding this finger, helps and support the long and the large intestine flow too, in a lot of different ways. And our lung flow and large intestine flow are of course connected to that feeling of sadness. So let's help them to harmonize. And what's happening for you, what's happening in the hand, maybe you start to feel a pulsation, maybe you already felt a pulsation the moment you started holding the index finger. Maybe you feel emotions moving through. When this is the case, just breathe with it. Your breath can be a beautiful vehicle to help the emotions to move through. And then we go to our middle finger, again simply wrap the 
fingers around the middle finger. How does the middle finger feel to you? For me, when I feel it right now, it's feeling a little bit puffy. How is it feeling for you? Just become aware of it. And the more you do this simple exercise, you will recognize that there are different textures possible when you are holding your finger. Do you feel your body calming down even more? Your brain calming down? Slowly more and more peace can enter the being. Observing the breath, how it flows down the front with every exhale, creating space for the new breath up the back. your body even more. Simply allowing and then the last finger we are going to hold today is that ring finger. The ring finger you can also hold on its own. But this sequence is simply enhancing the movement. It's like a wheel that is starting to turn. And when you use those four fingers that turning of the wheel can go a little bit faster because there is that support and that push. Four fingers to help us to go from sadness and grief maybe, to joy, to feel that spark inside of you, that joyful seed inside that's always there, you can connect with. Simply letting go of all the stuff and remember who you are. Simply a piece of the divine. Always 
always connected to a source always an expression of the source Let your breath expand a little bit, one deep exhale and a beautiful receiving of a new breath up the back. possibility to expand that breath a little bit more I can feel that in my body maybe you can feel that too and these four fingers are not only helping you to grow from sadness to joy but also support your lungs your large intestine and digestive system so if you feel that the lungs or your digestive system need some support you can also use the ring finger or this sequence when you're ready you can let go of the hold you can open your eyes So nice to see you all here. Uh, yeah, it's always a joy to be with you, and uh, it felt very nice to do this exercise with you all. I could really, yeah. At the end, I was also like feeling really that, yeah, that what we call the main central or that pillar of light that's growing through the top of your head into the earth, uh, and I could really feel that very strongly coming in. So very nice um, yeah um, if I I don't know if you are in my Facebook group you have seen that um, if you have a question or you want something an advice or you need some uh, yeah you need some advice for something where you maybe are struggling with or you have another kind of question please uh, DM me put uh, the question in the post and uh, I will see if I can answer it here or in my pod in one of the podcast episodes. So uh, yeah, inspire me when you uh, are in need of some support, and uh, I see can see if I can help you uh, with that. So thank you very much for today. It was very nice to be here, and I hope to see you next week again, at uh, same time, same place. Have a very nice evening or day, and I hope that we sparked a little bit of joy in you and you will have a good, nice laugh with someone around you. Uh, thank you and uh, until the next time.